Now then, what do Roald Dahl, Philip Pullman, even Dylan Thomas have in common? They all did their best works in a shed. This is a shed, but it's no ordinary shed. Tracy wanted an outdoor retreat that blended in with the very picturesque surroundings of sea and sand dunes that back onto her house. A place to sit and even meditate. 17 years ago I came to live in Liverpool and I started to create a garden. And over the period of time, friends have slowly come together and helped me create different spaces within the garden. So first of all, I had a little greenhouse and the large window at the front was the part of the original structure. And over time, tomatoes overtook the greenhouse. You couldn't get in there. And I decided I wanted to change the building, um, make it slightly bigger and more usable. So um, I started chatting to a friend of mine who is very keen on eco-building, um, Leo, and I gave him the overall shape and told him roughly what I wanted. But because he's such a good builder, um, I decided to just leave it up to him and gave him free reign and he's just created the most beautiful space. We raided quite a few skips and back alleys um, we got bottles from people's recycling bins. Um, we, we gathered some sand off the beach so that, well, obviously Leo was gathering the sand off the beach and mixed it with mud to create a cement for the cob build. Um, it's, it's all been recycled. The competition I entered a about a year ago and I was actually too late in entering so they said you're too late but re you know we'll keep your details on record and maybe we'll come back to you next year so sure enough uh, came January they contacted me and they said oh, we really like your owl house would you submit again for this year's Cupranol Shed of the Year and I was I was delighted um, so put, put the Owl House forwards and it was shortlisted, which was amazing out of 2,500 sheds. It was shortlisted to the, to the last four in the eco category. Um, and yes, it's all just been an incredible journey, really, really exciting. So I'm now um, hopeful for maybe a third, possibly further, further on to the dunes would be nice.